Hello everybody, Bubbles Zest here and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. In today's video we've got ourselves an interesting little challenge to do. We as the Soviet Union will attempt to win the Spanish Civil War alongside the Republicans. So let's get started. First things first, reset slots. Electronics, industry and a slight deviation. We're going to grab ourselves the 2 plev SB2M but apart from that it's standard research. Anyway for our civs it's going to be civ spam. And for our mills, we're going to put five into the interwar bomber, reduce production of tanks and trucks, and the rest into guns. And we're also going to spam convoys, because that's just kind of my thing with the Soviet Union. Anyway, next up, we're going to gather up the air force and exercise it to level three. Press shift K, so it'll exercise and then stop once it reaches there. And with the army, we're going to gather it up and break it up into some equal stacks. Something like this will do. Just for now, we're going to put them on a massive fallback line and also exercise them to level three. Let's not also forget though to create an intelligence agency, always useful. And that's pretty much all of our prep out of the way. So for focus, we're going to be working our way all the way down to NKVD primacy. So let's start with the park of marks in Lenism, go up to speed 5, and begin. We're definitely going to be upgrading our intelligence agency, things like cryptology will be quite useful today. 5-3 war support from the Montro convention, don't mind if I do. Stalin's paranoia will always trigger around this time. We'll be fine, we'll do what we need to do to keep it down. And now we have to decide if we're going to go down via the centre, the left opposition or the right opposition. I think today we're going to play safe and go via the centre. We're going to have to alternate between doing great purges and doing things like upgrading the army. But that should be fine. Basically a normal Soviet setup these days, isn't it? And since we are going down the centre, we are inevitably going to lose most of these field marshals, so there's no point keeping them around. We're going to need some new chiefs of staff. So, let's promote Konstantin Rokossovsky to field marshal. A brilliant strategist is just that. Brilliant. And right on time, it's the Spanish Civil War. Right, let's immediately begin our aid to the Republicans. Send volunteers, Vasily Chukov who has six mountaineers, and send air volunteers. There they go. Right, for the Air Force, we're going to send our tactical bombers, how many? 223 on the majority of missions. The CAS, strategic bombing, with priorities on infrastructure and factories, and logistics strike. There they go, they'll go to Madrid and northeastern Iberia, usually the most contested zone. Now that's pretty good to help the Republicans, but I think we can help them a lot more. So let's do something else. Nasha, Spain. Justify war goal, conquer Galicia. Look at that, it'll only take 120 days thanks to NKVD, so let's do it. The Republicans could definitely hold out for 4 months, so I think this would be a lot easier than just fighting our way with a few volunteers, don't you think? Anyway, time for the first trial, the trial of the Zenoniites. And our volunteers are in Valencia. We need to keep a good eye on this modifier, unplanned offensive. The AI will do offences in certain places, so we need to wait a little while and see which one they'll do first. Cordoba. Alright, I could deal with that. It's usually the states that are contested are the ones that they choose. So if they'd taken a town in Extromeda, it'll probably be an Extromeda. Alright, the plan right now will probably be to encircle the entirety of Cordoba. I think we could do that with these Mountaineers. There we go, already got two units encircled, and Cordoba itself seems to be free. Which you should definitely take. Extra factories and recruitable population for the AI is very useful. I'm going to split one unit off to go to Sevilla and Cadiz. Generally, I, oh no, I was unfortunate. I expected them not to defend it. And there they go. Right now, while we wait to do the next purge, we're going to upgrade the Red Army. Mo plan, cohesion first. Two little encirclements. Not many units, but some at least. Oh, the air wants to pin. You know what we do with pin memes? Tell the unit to retreat, and then tell it to retreat into an enemy tile. And that is how you beat an AI pin. Well, we can't take Cadiz, but this whole lot is now currently encircled, which is good from our point of view. So right now, we may as well just focus on closing the Seville pocket. We have plenty of command power and XP and PP, so let's go for the army regrouping expert. Also going to go for this army reformer. So much XP we can get. Oh good, we have over 35 XP pro officer core. Justification's almost ready, so I'm going to move pretty much the entire army to Sevastopol. As soon as we declare, we can transfer over the army. We've got plenty of time until the second trial, so we're going to also go down to send military advisors to Spain. That's like 100 XP for free. 
just locations ready. The Natchez are definitely beginning to consolidate the north now, so now is the time to go. Declare. Let's immediately get military access from Spain. In fact, I think they might want to join the common turn. Yep, let's let them in. There we go. Great. Entire army, get going. With the exception of these 18, which will be in the south. So Tukov will have his old job back, basically. There he goes. And since Spain is now in the common turn, we can send the entirety of the Soviet Air Force over to them. We can put these in all wear zones, actually, as well. No reason not to. But also remember that the naval bombers can be put on naval strike. And since it is available to us, let's put the navy together. A uh, small convoy raid in around Spain. Huh, already we found three subs. Nice. And good, our first reinforcements are here. They'll definitely be able to shore up the front line. Though it has slightly broken. Nice job, AI. Right, I think we can rescue them from Cordoba. That was too close. I'm trying to circle around Badiouz. Right now, the CD2 Corp will be grinding in the south, so he can get traits. Just like the second we will rock you guide, if you've seen that. That's what I'm trying to go for. Might just be able to break this out and get a counter encirclement. Good. Managed to rescue some Republican units. An offensive was actually done into Seville, so we might be able to get cadets. Right, we're going to do the retreat thing to get this encirclement. Is it gamey? Definitely. Do I care? Nope. And there we go, encirclement. We can even try and grab baddies. Oh no, the AI stopped us. Alright, the line is fairly steady. Go on, Rokosowski, see what you can do. And another convoy destroyed. And another encirclement gained. Again, keep an eye out for this unplanned offensive. States that don't have it will look like this. So are there any border states we can focus on? Not really. Looks like it's going to be a bit grindy for a while. But of course, any weak unit, something like this, is something you can just begin to push away. Huh, we can even get Burgos. That's a surprise. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm not going to take that. Okay, uh, satisfactory reports again. And look at that. The CD Chukov has organizer and infantry leader. He'll make for a great field marshal once this is all over. We might lose Chukacheski, but we might as well have Chukacheski 2 in him. I just realised we might be able to encircle via this river line. That would be interesting. I doubt we can do it, but I'm going to try. Oh, an offensive has been done into Badiouz. Good. We should try to go for an encirclement something like here. Come on, we're just one tile away. I did get a slight encirclement. Two divisions. And now it's time for the second trial. And the pocket has been closed. Good. Right, Chukov, join the regular army group now. I should have retreat me this, but we just got it in time. Great. That is a huge encirclement. I put all the tanks onto Chukov for this reason. Look at that. He's already 75% of the way to Panzer Leader. And I know many of you like to use Chukov as your main Soviet tank guy. The Soviets start with 11 tanks, give them all to whichever general, and you'll have something like this soon enough. There you go, we've also managed to farm Panzer Leader. Probably the first time I've ever actually said that on this channel. Well, we're getting a lot of XP. We can even do a Doctrine Switch if we wanted to. I guess this would be the perfect situation if you want to do Grand Battle Panzer of the Union. But nah, I think we'll stick with Mass Assault. But right now, the Nash's front line is pretty much collapsed. Which is unusual for them. And there's the anarchists. Now, don't worry. You're not at war with them. In fact, funnily enough, because you share an enemy with them, you get military access. Which, why not? The reason why is because world tension is too low. As you see here, to join the other civil war, we need a 50% world tension. Which we could get if we'd raise world tension that high, but... Mm, it's not worth it in the end. We'll just continue as is. Speaking of which, another encirclement. Oh, we can actually cut off the Nationalists again. Let's go for Oviedo. Bilbao is generally the Nationalists' biggest victory point. It has 10. They usually defend it. But if we can grab it, that would be great. And hey, we got an ace. Even more war support. Nationalist Cypher, great. Not that we really need it now, but if you're in dire need of something like that, that can be a great help. Anyway, let's march on Acronia and Vigo. 
haven't actually been to Acteron yet. Now I could say, yeah, it's a port in Spain. <laughs> it was surreal actually seeing the thing. Oh, hey, Spain is sending us their gold reserves. Oh, great, another unit in Acronia. Where have I heard that one before? Here's a fun one for you. Because the Portuguese are supporting Nashus, we can get a very, very cheap justification. If you want to use it, be my guest. Check out my video aligning the Zenoniites, where I actually do use the War Goal on them. We do have to be careful, though, because world tension is very close to being 25%. The Allies will start throwing out guarantees when that threshold is reached. We just take a build bow. Nice. Still a long way to go, but we're getting a lot closer. Good thing we have military access from the Anarchists, because if this, something like this happens to you, you can just have your units withdraw. Makes no sense in context, but it works. That, the losses for the Nashus are not good. I think we just need to take Leon and it will all be over. Come on. Very good. Wow, that's quick. That's only a few months off what I'd consider a very good run, so us teaming up with the other Spain went very well. Anyway, the next step, we're going to kick them out of the common turn. The reason for this is actually so they can do the Focus Expand Soviet Aid. This is the thing that turns them into a puppet. We have to make sure they've done it. And we can't send them volunteers for some reason when they're in a faction with us. This really need to check to see if they're in a faction with the Soviets or not. Alright Chukov, you know how this is going to go. Six divisions, air volunteers. Let's do it. Oh no, we can actually send seven. Well, seven it is. No, he even got a heal fighter. Still have military access though, so we can just completely spectate Spain. But I think I'll send the rest of the army back home. Ah, oh, good. Valzov has gone to level 4, and he is an infantry leader, so that means we can make him an infantry specialist. And hey, we have over 50% war support thanks to all our shenanigans, so very early Soviet war economy. And here's the thing they might expand the Iron Ring focuses next, or they might expand Soviet aid. I don't know what controls will happen, so it might be 105 days until they expand Soviet aid, or 35. Hey, another doctrine. And yes, you can just lead a grind with these volunteers if you want. And anyway, are we going to steal the Spanish gold? Yeah, we're going to steal the Spanish gold. You could use this little opportunity to farm other generals to get organizer and other things if you want. We're going to see if it's worth grinding out Organizer for Rokosowski. Probably not, because he's already got plenty of traits, but who knows, maybe in a perfect world we might have two Logistic Wizard Field Marshals. Look at all the XP coming in, it's ridiculous. Right, I can see what Spain is doing now thanks to Intelligence, and it looks like they're going via Fortify the Iron Ring. Which is alright, we just need to be careful and not taking victory points. We can do that. And just like the old Real Rock you Guide, we can tell our units to stop, Maybe let the anarchists re a little, even though Spain is attacking them. And then go again. When Barcelona and Valencia fall, that's the end of the anarchists, by the way. Next up for us, though, look away if you're a Chukacheski fan. It's time for the military conspiracy. There you go, I just saw it. If you want to be sure that they have done it, look for this. Spanish Civil War commitments, positive relations, and you should have a national spirit by the same name. There it is. Now we can finish up the Spanish Civil War and be safe. And that's it. The Republicans have won, but at the cost of becoming our puppet. I agree with this statement. The best possible outcome for the Soviets. Definitely not the best outcome for Spain, though. But they're still not our puppet. And if we're not careful, they will eventually make their way down to War of Independence. And we can't have that. No, no, no. We could integrate them and annex them via the puppet mechanics, but there is an easier way. Now that there are a puppet, we get these foreign influence decisions. I reckon many of you haven't taken these before, but we are going to do a socialist education in Spain to increase their communist support to eventually do a fraternal republic. Anyway, say goodbye to your favourite generals, I suppose. Next up, we're going to be doing the Commissol. Here's what became of Vasily Chukov. He will definitely make a good field marshal. Basically, the new Chukacheski. And just now, we can get our third Doctrine. Yeah, Relentless Assault will do. I mean, we're almost on similar parity to Germany now. Germany usually gets a few Doctrines done before 1939, and for us it's only 1937. If the Spanish Civil War was more grindy, you'd probably end up with a load of divisions being veterans or seasoned. 
but in this instance, we only have a few. In the first run of this I did, I basically had the whole army be seasoned or veterans. So the smash of what you get can influence how much XP, doctrines, veterans, etc. you get. But I think we did fairly well. Now that we've done the common soul, we can actually do a very interesting Agipop decision, which will allow Spain to flip even quicker. Young Brooders of Communism. As you can see here, they now have Master Ideology Drift plus 0 0.5, which means they're going to flip very quickly. They've gone up from 0 0.4 to 0 0.9. Won't be long now. And now Spain is well over 60% support. We have 50 political power, so now it's time to impose a fraternal republic in Spain. The People's Republic of Spain is here, led by the man, the myth, the legend, not Jose Diaz. Yeah, I really don't know why Jose Diaz isn't here. He should be. Why is it Generico without a portrait? I don't know. Maybe someone in the comments will know why. I mean, it's got some good traits, financial expert and economist. But it really should be Jose Diaz. Is it something about fraternal republic? Political turmoil? I don't know. But it's really, really weird. But oh well, they are now permanently our puppet. They are now completely locked out of opposed to communists and war of independence. So yeah, I think we'll be calling this here. This has been an uh, interesting little challenge. Now I know, some of you might have been more interested to see me do this via volunteers, and that was the original intention with this video, but then during my practice runs I discovered that just justifying and declaring worked a lot better. However, if you are interested in seeing me doing this via volunteers only, do let me know, and if there is enough support for it, I will probably do it. It is quite hard and quite interesting. Not to dig how this was done, this is also quite fun, we're quite powerful still, but as I said, I think we'll be calling this here. Just doing this was enough in itself, but it was pretty fun. So, until next time everybody, I thank you for watching, I do hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to leave any suggestions in the comments below for future video ideas, I'm always looking for them. However, until we meet again, this has been me, Bubble Zest. Playing as the Soviet Union, ensuring the Republicans win the Spanish Civil War. Until we meet again, good bye.